welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little different. Matt and I are setting up some things so that we can get our freezers um, always working because we've heard a lot of you have had issues with um, losing everything in your freezers or fridges and that does not sound like any fun. So it has been a while since we purchased these items and we're finally getting it all set up so that we don't need to stress over losing our meat in our freezers, our produce in our freezers, and all those other things. We've got a whole cow in there. We had 70 chickens, we've eaten a few, um, but we've got lots of things in the freezer and we don't wanna have to worry about them. When we were looking at getting a stand-up freezer, the first thing anyone we knew said about it who had had a stand-up freezer said, careful because the doors always keep opening. So I knew we needed to get something to make sure that our freezer stayed shut. And we purchased this simple baby latch. It's actually really easy to just push and open the freezer, but it's just that added protection of making sure it's shut and that it's not coming open. We do have a lot of things on the door of our freezer, jars and things in here, and we don't want to um, have that heavy stuff pushing this door open. The next thing we purchased was these temperature humidity sensors. We were looking for something that's going to alert us if the temperature in our freezers gets to an uncomfortable degree for our items. So we actually purchased three of these and I intended to originally purchase something that would just be on our freezer or inside our freezer and go off an alarm. If we were in the house, we would hear it. And then I looked at the price of those versus the price of the digital ones that were connected to our phones and realized the price wasn't that much different. So we purchased three of these temperature and humidity sensors that are going to go in our three large freezers where we keep all of our meat, all of our um, food that we have frozen. And it turns out that this was pretty simple. We actually had to make sure we got one with a modem. So this little modem piece, I don't know if that's the right word for it, is plugged into our internet. And then these just simply sit inside of our freezer wherever we want them. And we could probably hook them up somewhere fancy, but I'm just setting them inside because I want the temperature to be great anywhere in the freezer and I'm not too worried about moving it. Um, it's just a little app on our phone. So we've got the app downloaded, we've got the sensors in the freezer, and then we just open the app, we go ahead and we select the temperature that we want it to warn us at, and we get a notification anytime that these sensors are not monitoring a safe temperature in our freezer. And this is what's really cool is it's not just an alert when we're home like we had thought we were going to do. Instead, we're gonna get an alert on our phone even if we're at the store, even if we're out of town, um, so that we can actually maybe get somebody over here and take care of it before we would lose all of our food. The funny thing about just getting these set up is our phones are going crazy. They're alerting us now that they're just set up that the temperature is not safe because we just put it in there. So I'm excited to see it all leveled out throughout the day and kind of get this set up so that hopefully we don't need to stress so much about worrying about all of this food. If you want to try out any of these sensors or the lock, we'll be sure to link them down in the description below. And we'd love to hear how you are making sure that your food that you've been working so hard to save, to stock up, doesn't go bad. Thanks for watching. Bye.